Do you know which knuckles to punch with? Do you know how to punch somebody without breaking your hand? Because a human skull is a very hard thing. In styles of martial arts that I trained, like karate and kickboxing, it was always hitting with those top two knuckles. And it was always my sensei saying, get on your knuckles in the dojo floor. We train on cement and roll your knuckles, roll your knuckles. And what we were doing was we were building up our wrist strength to be able to support that motion itself. Then there were styles of martial arts like Shaolin Kung Fu that said hit with the middle knuckle itself. The chi will align through the middle of the bones. Right? Then Wing Chun Kung Fu said, hit with the bottom three knuckles. This bone here is called your ulna bone. That bone never moves, where the radius bone actually can turn and move. So why would I align with those bones there? They all bring up great points. And a way that you can check at home is actually just by going down to your floor. When you go down to the floor, now you're gonna go onto your knuckles and find kind of the balance point and then test that out by going into a push-up position. You can see right now, I'm kind of in the middle and on that second last digit there, right? So if maybe you haven't trained your wrist a lot, you might be on your bottom three. If you have trained it in karate, right, or kickboxing, you're gonna be on your top two. But if you notice it comes down to what the wrist is actually supported by. If you have the wrist strength or the forearm strength to be able to keep that there, fantastic. Hit with those knuckles. If you can hit with the bottom three, maybe that's more of a structural position because maybe you don't have the muscles to be able to back it up. If you hit with the top two, fantastic, or the middle. But I want you to think about something when you're thinking about self-defense, right? Or even just fighting or sparring in general. If you're trying to hit something that's static like a board, you can hit it and you can choose which knuckle to hit. Now try and hit a moving target. And now when trying to hit that moving target, tell me that you're gonna only clip them with those top two knuckles. What if they shift back an inch? What's gonna happen then? Then you're actually gonna be hitting with the bottom two. And that's where you see a lot of boxers end up getting a boxer fracture in the wrist because the person is slipping back a bit and they're hitting with those bottom two and it hasn't been trained enough and it ends up breaking. Also think about what's happening while you're doing your martial arts. Do you train at a school or a system where you wrap your hands and it helps support the wrist itself? Because if you go use that in a self-defense situation and that muscle isn't strong enough because you're used to the wraps, now you might be doing yourself a disservice by having those wraps on. But if you're hitting a heavy bag, you don't want to injure yourself. So it's kind of like six and one half a dozen. What should I be doing? When it comes to a self-defense situation, if you've trained yourself to hit with fists, that's what's going to be more natural to you. I love the idea, though, of if I'm hitting something hard, I want to hit something or hit it with something soft, right? It's a good rule of thumb. Your palm is the softest thing, okay? Using the L of the palm, and that's gonna help. What are you losing as an advantage, though, is range. Notice my fists or my knuckles are much closer, and if I'm already shorter than my opponent, I could be giving up some range, which may end up costing me the whole self-defense situation anyways. So is there a perfect answer to this? No. But what I do suggest is if you do train your knuckles or to punch with your knuckles, temper them. Hey, make sure to take that time, hit that heavy bag. If you train an iron palm, do all those kinds of training. In karate, you're hitting that piece of wood all the time. There's so many different ways that you can strike something. But that's under perfect circumstances that you know exactly which knuckle you're going to hit with. And I'm going to guarantee it's never a guarantee.